So this building actually had its formal opening last spring. It is designed to be the literally the intersection between Rice and the Texas Medical Center where it sits. One of the beautiful aspects of the Biosciences Research Collaborative is bringing together in one common space people with training in engineering, people with training in the basic sciences, clinicians. It is uh, designed to, to be able to help us translate discoveries from the laboratories to our partners across the street in the Texas Medical Center. Well, fundamentally, the National Space Biomedical Research Institute, NSBRI, is a translational institute. And so the idea is, is that uh, we fund and support uh, research and development. Now we're, we're developing technologies that could facilitate cartilage regeneration, so help the body heal itself wherein it otherwise wouldn't heal itself. This would be particularly important in sports injuries, devastating sports injuries, and traumatic injuries like car accidents. So, you know, it's actually not a new idea. It's been discussed for uh, over 150 years, this, this whole concept of translating discovery to the, from the laboratory. You know, some folks say discovery to recovery or something like that. And the BRC is an ideal place for this because the culture is one of moving products uh, from the bench uh, to the bedside, to the market, you need to make things easy. That's what everything is always about, make it easy. So you want to make it easy for someone who thinks they've discovered the, the next great widget that will, will be fantastic to not sit in the lab and go, what do I do with this next great widget? In this particular project, we're developing technologies that will have a local impact with the potential for global reach. At the same time, we're developing and fostering collaborations with clinicians across the street in the world's largest medical center and we're training students that will take this technology and run with it. They'll be the ones that push this into the future and develop the next leading edge technologies for medicine in the future.